In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a group of inflated metallic pool balls in just a few easy steps in Illustrator. Let's get into it. Let's create a new file with this specific resolution for wallpaper. Name it as Nuker Balls Wallpaper. Create. Start creating a dark gray rectangle to be the background. We're going to create two different styles for the balls. The first one will be full of fill with a white circle in the middle. And let's make a copy to create the ball that has stripe. And to create a stripe, I just create a ellipse between the white circle and the color base circle. Make sure to align everything. And with the shape builder tool, I start removing the parts that I don't want. Copy the stripe and paste in front of everything. The stripe will have the color and the circle base will have the lighter color. Let's move a little bit our circles and make copies of one style. The first style will have eight balls. Let's align them to the artboard center, all right? Let's delete these two balls, <clears throat> sorry, and make the other style as the same size and start making copies just like we did by pressing Alt while you click drag and drop. All right. I have some predefined colors where you can find in the video description. And here we just need to change the colors until we get to the ball number eight. Let's pick this orange, then we have this green right here. Now this pinkish and finally the ball number eight. All right. Now let's start paint the stripe as the same order as we did with the style number one. Purple, now we have this orange, green, and then this another purple with pink. Let's select everything and make sure everything is ungrouped. Select all the white circles from the ball style number one. Press Ctrl X to cut it off. Create a new layer and paste in place. Lock this layer and select all the stripes located in it. Press Ctrl X or right click and cut. Create a new layer called Stripes and press Ctrl F or right button, paste in place. There we go. Change the blending mode to multiply. Let's change the blending mode of the middle circles. Make sure everything is selected and decrease the opacity a little bit. Create a new layer called numbers and now it's just time to put numbers inside the balls and in the middle of everything let's choose some font all right make copies in the horizontal and then in the vertical there we go changing the numbers five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. Let's change the blending mode to multiply. Decrease a little bit the opacity. And now we get all the elements separated. Just make sure the ball bases are in the same layer as the background. Unlock everything, select everything group everything from this first layer. All right, we have the effect right here. Now it's time to apply the 3D effects only for the very first layer. Go to Effect, 3D and Inflate. A new window will be displayed and you can change the settings and see what happens just in time. In Object tab, we have this option. In Depth, let's put zero and enable this option right here called Inflate Both Sides. 
In the materials tab, we can find some extra textures, but the default texture is pretty much acceptable. Change the roughness to 0 0.26 and metallic to 0 0.26. In the lighting tab, let's decrease the intensity to 35. Rotation, you decide, it doesn't affect too much in the final result. I'm going to use 122. In high, let's put 48. And softness, let's use 85. And there you go. To see the final result, we have this option right here. And we have to click and enable the ray tracing. In low quality, my computer takes around 10 seconds to show me it rendered. In medium, around 40 seconds. And for the high resolution, it takes around 1 minute and 30 seconds. As we're using 1912 by 1080, which is considered a high resolution, the quality here doesn't affect too much in the final render. The low quality is pretty much valid to use as final result. You can see here that we have a pinkish layer, which is a color balance layer. For this, I just create a magenta rectangle in a new layer above all the others and make some changes on opacity and blending mode so that we will have a kind of ambient magenta light distributed to all the elements below it. The appearance panel allows us to enable and disable the 3D effects. However, you can make changes on the elements on any view mode. But when making changes, make sure to disable the ray tracing preview to make it faster. The trick here is that we are working with 3D only in the very first layer, which it makes possible to create some other elements overlaying it and make it more interesting. You can copy the circle basis with the direct selection tool and paste in another layer on top of all the others layer. Let's copy and then create a new layer right here and paste in place by pressing Ctrl F or right button and paste in place. And apply some gradient effects. Let's select Cyan in the end and start of the gradient and decrease the opacity to zero, the first Cyan option. In angle, let's put 45 and make it more closer to the end, the gradient slider to look like another source of light is coming from the top right. And we have a beautiful and stylish group of snooker balls together. Export as JPG with whatever sizes you want because we're talking about vector. So the last and very important step that I really want you to follow. Give me thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. Comment below what you want to see in my next video. And if you want to have access to exclusive exclusive tutorials, early access to new videos and more benefits, join on my subscription area to get into it. Bye bye!